Okay. Can you imagine going to the north of Canada or Russia and see something incredible, like a light from the sky? You don't know, maybe you are going with your friends or family, you, or you can find something incredible, like a phenomenon natural. So now you can see one of the most beautiful phenomena in cold countries. that you just see these uh, uh, beautiful phenomena, we are going to tell what is an aurora boreal, also what is the origin, what is the place that you can see this, and also the colors, because as you see in the video, there is a different kind of colors. So we are going to explain why and the reason. <laughs> so now that, uh, now that I told this, uh, Yumi is going to introduce the origin of the the, 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 sorry, uh, Yumi is going to introduce uh, why is an aurora boreal. <laughs> <laughs> why is an aurora boreal? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, this uh, phenomenon is called. Uh, all uh, all uh, borealis, borealis. Yeah. So we are going to talk about this phenomenon, and uh, we are talking about three points, three main points, and uh, first. Uh, the, ori the origin of or aurora, and second, the place where we can see, and uh, finally, uh, colors of aurora. And uh, first, uh, Daniela is talking about origin of aurora. So now, as you see, aurora borealis is a strange phenomenon. Uh, the first uh, science who discovered this was uh, from French. Uh, the name was Pierre Cancel. It uh, was in uh, 1621. So during that time, the science didn't know how it's possible that something like this is a mix of gases, but they didn't know how it's possible that something like this happened. So they start to take pictures. So first, they start to take pictures like this from the war, and then they see, uh, they, uh, they see what's happening in the air. And also it's so strange because normally they, uh, this didn't happen before. This was a phenomenon to start in this year, 16, uh, 1621. So uh, after that research, they start, uh, they, he started to research, so he gave a name. So Aurora derived from Latin, so Aurora means goddess, and Borealis means wine. So they just mix from the Latin, and they gave the name for that reason. There is a mix with goddess 
because they think that this is something incredible and also for the wind. So now that we know that, uh, Yumi is going to introduce the places that you can see this. Yes, uh, we can see this aura at the, uh, the South Pole or North Pole, around, around South Pole or North Pole. And for, you can see aura in Russia, and especially this mask is famous for in Russia. And next, Norway is also famous, and uh, Tromsø <laughs> uh, is known. This is uh, one of the most famous places. We can see, uh, that's not green, but <laughs> green, green aurora. And, uh, next is Scotland. Scotland is not, uh, not good condition to see, but sometimes, occasionally, we can see this beautiful aurora. And uh, Alaska, Alaska, uh, especially Fairbanks, is famous for the place. We can see amazing, beautiful uh, aurora. So, and uh, Canada. <laughs> Canada is, I think, the most famous place we can see aurora. So especially Yellow Knife and uh, Yukon Territory is the fourth most famous. And uh, you can research, you can check the information about aurora because day by day it's a little different to see aurora. So before going to see, you should check the information. So now you know this information. Uh, finally, Daniela is talking about colors of aurora. So now that you know some place that you can see this, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, colors. As you know, the atmosphere is made of a lot of components like gases, oxygen, hydrogen. So the difference between the colors, because uh, one of the examples like sodium or helium, when the gas mix with the, sh uh, the when the gas mix, they have a specific light or shine. So normally for the sodium, it will be like green or yellow, as you see. And when the, uh, when the helium is mixed with some gases, that is made like purple to blue, or sometimes green to yellow. And the reason for that is because the gases, like the gases when they are in the atmospheres, they sometimes shock with another gases. So they, uh, these gases produce the aurora boralis. So as you know, uh, sodium and helium are the most important gases from that. And now that you know the places, the colors, and the origin, uh, we are interested in that reason because this is a strange phenomenon and also it's so difficult to see because just in the cold places you can find something like this. Okay, to sum up, uh, we, we will show you the clock. We will watch and watch the silver dance of the mystic northern lights, Aurora. So, do you have any plans? This winter, if you have no, maybe we have no plan. So, but <laughs> how do you think? Uh, how do you think to go to see the aura? Thank you. Mm -hmm.